Now we will create another example. 5 underscore JSTL. Open the folder. Create a JSP page. Index dot JSP. Now first of all we will create an array and we will save this array in session scope as an attribute. Also we will provide a link to navigate. The moment you click over the link we will navigate to some other page. In that page we will get the attribute from the session scope and because that attribute value is an array we will iterate over it. So let's start. I'm going to create an at attribute and I will save an array. So first of all, I, I must create an array, integer array. I declared and declaration come initialization statement is here. I assign few element records. Now in the same scriptlet, I'm accessing the implicit object session, session dot set attribute attribute name suppose uh, r and uh, the value pair is the array object now after saving this attribute into the session scope let's create a link the link and uh, url href abc.jsp page i specified here into hyperlink reference so when the user will click over this link the user will navigate to abc jsp page now let's create abc.jsp page. I created another page, save it with the JSP extension abc.jsp. Now in this JSP page, we want to get the attribute from the session scope. Session implicit object dot get attribute. The attribute name is R. So we declared an array of integer variable and after type casting the reference code of that array we are going to store it into the array variable r you can declare some other name also like uh, a and let's create another scriptlet to keep it clean we will use the classic for loop in java we are just opening the loop body. The closing of this loop body will be in an another scriptlet because in between there will be a plain text or some HTML. So let's declare a loop counter variable i. Initialize it with zero. Now i is less than array dot length and i plus plus. Now we will create some tag here suppose h1 tag and uh, because we want to access an element of that array because we are iterating over that array so use the expression one of the scripting technique there are four techniques scriptlet expression declaration and directive we are going to use the expression the array variable name is a and uh, in the subscript you can pass the loop control variable i a0 a1 a2 and you can access the records of that array to run this example we opened the browser and we typed in the application name 5jstl here comes the index page before sending this index page to the client uh, at the server end the server executed these statements the server created an array and saved it into the session scope and once the entire page is processed that page is sent to the client and that client received the index page here is the index page in this index page just right click and see the source code there are no entries of array declaration and saving it into the session scope so uh, because that these lines invoked into the server end only now open the uh, index.jsp page and now just click over this link you can check the address bar click over it abc.jsp we are able to iterate over the array 
but we are learning JSTL and instead of using the JSTL why we are using this plain Java code so that you can compare what is the difference between Cout and classic for loop which is written in Java let's comment the entire code first of all we will include taglib directive taglib prefix uri http colon slash slash java dot sun dot com slash jsp slash jstl slash core now we commented the complete java code which is wrapped in scriptlet and expression now we'll mark it case one in html we need to wrap it some sorry in html we will comment it this is the case one and the entire code is also commented now let's refresh this page just click over here the link now you are not able to see the result create another comment case 2 now we will learn another JSTL tag C for each C for each C for each closing tag and uh, now we will declare two attributes one is where and another is items in the items you write an EL specifying the attribute name what was the attribute name R because there is an array map to that attribute so we will iterate over that array and fetch one record then where to store just create a variable suppose we created a variable naming uh, X we are uh, fetching one element from this array at a time and we are creating an attribute a page scoped attribute naming X and the attributes value will be the records that we are fetching from this array now the time to display this record h1 h1 closing and uh, we will use C out or simply you can use EL like this because X is an attribute in page scope right that is why you can write it like this also we'll just refresh back this is the index page refresh now click over the link and you can see the records again just suffix some characters here now once again refresh it you can see the changes so we are using the C for each uh, instead of using the EL you can just write the C out tag value and specify the EL the attribute name is X and close this tag properly you can uh, suffix some characters here also like this and just refresh it right so we saw that how to use the JSTL tag we just want to avoid the Java code to avoid the Java code we learned expression language but expression language simply outputs the value or if you want to use some more complicated job using EL in that case you need to use the EL function that requires some TLD file configuration and some other class definition implementation so the JSTL says that whatever is commonly required that I have already created in the form of a standard tag library JSTL behind the scene there are classes which are taking care of the functionality of your JSTL tag. In next video, I'll show you more examples based on C for each.